Today I'm going to show you a little bit about rosellas. It's probably one of the most asked about things that I post on Instagram. So I thought I'd um, give you just a little bit of a rundown of how to pick them, when to pick them. Um, we planted, well we actually didn't plant any this year. We started a couple of years back with four plants and they just self seed everywhere now. So I just moved them to wherever I want them. They're a really good one to grow in our climate. Um, their seeds don't germinate until it gets really, really hot. So I think it's around about 28 degrees before they'll actually germinate for you, which is, which is quite hot for seeds. They'll kind of do nothing until those rains come in around January and then they'll just take off. Um, and harvesting for us usually begins around late March, um, sometimes a little bit early, depending on when they're in the ground. These survive on neglect, so I don't water these at all, um, apart from when it rains. Um, and they are just going nuts. We probably have about half a dozen along this ridge, or around about, uh, I guess it's about seven meters. Um, so they are huge plants, so if you plant them, just beware. So just to give you an idea of how big that they are, um, so that's, that's the trunk of it. and. They pretty much it's way taller than me, so I don't know, it's probably about two two meters high and it's stretching out about the same. So you need a fair bit of space for one plant. Honestly, if you keep harvesting them continuously, that's probably all you're gonna need, unless you want to make lots and lots of jam. So this little flower, it ends up drying out and dropping off, and what forms is this calyx type pod and that's what you're actually harvesting that I guess is the fruit um, so once once they sort of are pollinated they the flower drops out and these get bigger and that's what you're harvesting there's not much information around on when to harvest a rosella and I know when I first started growing them, I had no idea. I was like looking at these things and I'm like, I have no idea when they're ready. Um, but basically they get to around a little bit bigger than this one. Let me find one. I like to pick them about that size. So it's probably around about an inch in diameter, if you can kind of see that. Um, and yeah, then you can just sort of peel those, those little sort of petals off. Um, the seed inside has lots of pectin which is great for jam making or you can peel these I don't know what you call them but <laughs> the petal parts off and dry them out to make cheese and use it for coloring and things like that so this is about the size that we harvest um, they don't really get much bigger than that um, what they'll do is these little parts will start turning in um, when they get get a bit bigger okay so just quickly I um, wanted to show you the uses of these so this is the rosella as you pick it um, and what you do is this is the part that you you kind of eat so when making jam the seed pod is actually what's full of pectin so you use that for making jam um, and this is what you sort of pull off to make um, any teas or jellies or what have you um, sometimes if I'm making a jelly I will just chuck the whole kit and caboodle in just because I'm lazy and then I'll just um, sieve it off same with um, balsamic vinegar if I'm doing a caramelized balsamic I'll just chuck it all in um, but yeah that's that's pretty much the rosella and the parts that you use of it um, you could probably take more off it than I do but we've got so many I just like go the easy route Um, and this one here, you can see this one is getting close to opening up for seeds. So it was almost a little bit too far gone, but they're pretty forgiving in um, how much you can get from them. We harvest right up until mid-June. Um, usually I pull the plants out, but this year I'm going to leave them in and see what they do. Mm -hmm. 